All right, we are live. Got Noel here on the TARDIS zone. Okay. All right, he's here. All right, so how do we... Let's see. I know. All right. So how do I turn his own? How do I? What am I doing wrong here? Add to stream. There we go. Awesome. All right. There he is. All right. All right. Hi. Not too bad. Not too bad. A little bit tired. Had a late night. Early morning stream. Uh, yeah. Uh, miss miscalculated the had a late night, yeah. Uh, yeah, started at five uh, five a.m. this morning. Didn't yeah, finish till nine a.m. I was supposed to be on with Dan and Facebook today, mm -hmm. but uh, we've obviously rescheduled for another time because yeah. Okay. You're crazy. Cool. Well, it's good to see you. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Yourself? Doing all right through this pandemic, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mention its name, though. You know, you'll get your video. Um, YouTube is a stickler for that, so be careful. Don't mention it. Just call it. it. Some people call it the beer bug or the pink elephant. I just uh, call it a pandemic. I don't even say the name. Yeah, yeah. Here, do you want me to share this? Um, I'm going to share this this link. Right, we're live, aren't we? So I'll, I'll share this link. and just Give us a second and we'll share it. We'll get some people in, yeah? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, sorry, you, say sorry. you have some news, don't you? You have some, you were on a forum or something. You've got something to talk about the timeless children or something. Yeah, just fix in something. Got a little bit of an echo. All right, that's a little bit better. All right, hold on now. Where are you? Uh, I'm subscribed to you, so you should just pop up the new sub subscriptions. There you are. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks for Oh, yeah, of course I sub to you. Sure, when you when you used to be in the chat, uh, I, I, add, I added you. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, I have, we haven't seen you in the chat in a while, so like, um, I thought you were um, off doing your own thing. Um, yeah, it was for a little bit. Yeah, now I'm just starting to do the live streams now. Yeah, there. you should. Sure? The live streams are better. Everybody else is doing them now. It's better because you 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 you'll get your you get a, your audience a lot a lot faster because people like listening to other people, especially new people. So. Uh, yeah yeah and i mean i mean um have you seen any of my impressions any of them before no i haven't actually yeah you should check them out um some people tell me my seventh doctor is better than but then some people say my sixth doctor is better so it's funny how hearing different people's opinions yeah yeah actually there's um i don't know if they're looking for anybody now but there's a a place called uh black love studios and they're always looking for voice actors uh, to, mm. to do their audios. Uh, they're on Twitter and they're on uh, Facebook. You should check them out. Um, you know, because they're always looking for people to audition. Um, it's a, it's like a fan audio, but uh, what you call it? It's very good quality. Um, they did a for uh, our tour doctor story, uh, which was fantastic. Um, so yeah, they're worth checking them. Um, Black yeah, actually, I'd like to get your opinion. Let me act out a few uh, lines and see what you think. You know, because I like to get other people's input and in what I can work on. You know. Yeah. So, know. so let me try the fifth and the sixth and the seventh. I'm gonna start with the fifth. So I know he's got that breathless energy. So I'm gonna do it. Hello, I'm the doctor. At least I will be if this regeneration works out. Tell me, boy, what would you do if you were me? Hmm? On the other hand. What would you do? What would I do if I were me? <laughs> like Alex, I tend to believe three impossible things before breakfast. Oh no, we've went in the wrong quarter. Jamie, get back, Jamie. Oh no, the regeneration is failing. Perry, I gave you the rest of the bad smoke. I might die, I might regenerate. Feels different this time. Three eyes and one breath makes you sound like a rather egotistical young lady. Change, my dear. And it seems not a moment too soon. 
Well, now, Perry, you don't even know what a Perry is, do you? A Perry was a very magical fairy in urban mythology, but before it became good, it was evil. That's what you are, Perry. Actually, evil. Not just that, an alien spy sent her to spy on me. We all know the fate of alien spies. And so that was those. Which one did you like those? I, I thought your Hartnell and your um, Baker, Colin Baker, were actually spot on. Um, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I think the Davison needs a little bit more deeper, you know. Yeah, but the, you definitely sound like Colin Baker, mate. Um, that, that that Colin Baker one, you definitely sounded like him. Um, yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, just wanted your input. Like, yeah, keep at it, man. Keep at it. If it's something that you, you you're interested in doing, you could, you know. You could do your own little sketches and put them up on YouTube and stuff. You know, you could get someone to help you with animation or something, and you could do voices and, you know, yeah. Listen, uh, me, I, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I wouldn't have the talent to pull off voices like that. I'm not. I'm, I can't even do an American accent. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Well, let's hear it. Let's hear it. I like to hear your American accent. Oh now. no, you don't trust me. It's a it's a rule in this house. I'm banned from doing an American accent. Well, then again, look at Ben F. Like, I guess he did a pretty bad Ben uh, English accent. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's this news on the timeless ch children or the forum or something? You said you had some new information or. Are, yeah, are, well, it's from it's from this website, you know, and he said he knew you, Tan Lee. He went on your streams a few times. He's on the Alton forums. They're all against Chibnall and stuff. And I joined them because they're not, you know, fans of Chibnall and all that stuff. So um, they said they had information that Chibnall basically in 87 or 88, he was planning this whole timeless child thing. You know, he was writing it, you know, thinking of the idea in case he ever did become so runner. Obviously, it's probably just a rumor, but it, I found it interesting. Yeah, um, well, I actually did hear this. We spoke about this on the channel, actually, um, because mm. we had Eddie Ascaro on, and uh, he yeah. was speaking about it. Um, yeah, this has been something that Chip knows wanted wanted to do. Sure, he's even said it in, in interviews now recently, mm. uh, last year. He actually said that this was something that he has been working on. Now, if you were to look at it from the outside, though. Yeah you wouldn't think he was working on this for years if this is the thing that he's been working on for years well then i'd have to say he should be disappointed because it's not yeah. great it, 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 it's certainly not great um no not at all i just look when it comes to the timeless children it doesn't matter what he does now david he's he's upset a lot of fans and us included yeah that, not only that, though, the general public, the casual fan, uh, they're walking away. Um, and, you know, talk radio, they yeah. did a nice little piece. And, of course, you've got the usual people. won't mention them on your channel because I don't want any drama on your channel. But you've got yeah. people out there, uh, other YouTubers, then calling these reporters, or uh, calling these journalists bigots and racists because oh, they're coming out and saying the same thing that the fans have been saying for two years. They yeah. just don't like the truth. The truth is, 7 million households stopped watching Doctor Who. The yeah. question that they have to ask themselves yeah. is, is why? And it's nothing to do with TV habits because they take TV yeah. habits into account, David, as you know. You do the yeah. seven-day, you do the 28 uh, consolidated figures, and then do the yeah. AI. Everything's taken into account. So there sure. is no excuse. And the ratings on all are down. They're yep. down. They show a downward trend every single one of them. So, you yeah. know, they need to start asking questions, David. We're not saying that if you come out and speak against the show about how badly it's written, you're not coming out against Jodie Whittaker. You're coming out against the showrunner who has mm. ran the show into the ground. And I wish a lot more uh, Whittaker fans would actually look at that and say, yeah, Noel is right. It is the... Uh, Chris Chibnall should be writing a lot better for Jodie Whittaker. And maybe yeah. he was, and I'll say this to Jodie Whittaker fans, because I know one or two will find your video later on, they'll watch David. But I'll say this to them. Listen, this is the thing. You start calling out uh, Chris Chibnall, right? Then what'll happen is then he'll have to improve his writing, yeah? yeah? So then 
Jodie Whittaker gets better writing, doesn't she? So then, if that's the case, and you think she's a great actress, right? So if she gets better material, because some of you have said that she's being let down by the material, then we'll have no excuse then. Because if she's that good, then we won't be able to criticise how bad she is uh, on camera. Yeah. You know what I mean? We wouldn't have any excuses because the writing's up to par. So yeah. why not actually, you know, instead of attacking me and others yeah. for their opinions, why don't you all start... Uh, calling Chris Chibnall out for his bad writing and letting his our female Dr. Jodie Whittaker down because that's what he's doing. He's letting your doctor down by bad writing yeah. him and he's writing to him and it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And, you know, I actually had to un unfriend a few fr uh, people that were like, um, you know, saying bad stuff about you. And and actually, there's one person I need to get rid of, too, actually. I'm not going to name the name. You know, we'll keep it private. Listen, listen, here, here's the thing, right? Unfortunately, I've lost some friends on this platform and yeah. I've lost some people that used to talk to me all the time. That's just the, unfortunately, that's just the nature of it right now. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are saying things about me. Listen, yeah. uh, I wake up and every day there's something new. I, I'm used to it. You don't, listen, you don't need, and I say this to people, now someone's talking about you, but I, I'm going to block them. Listen, you don't have to block them. If you get, if you still get on well with them, just because they don't agree with me, I mean, yeah. if they're saying nasty, vile stuff about me, then fine, fair enough. But if yeah. they're not saying nasty, vile stuff about me, and they're just criticizing what I'm saying, I don't really care, David, to be honest. They're entitled to their opinion, just like I'm entitled to mine. I might like what they say about me, but they're entitled to it. Listen, the only thing I don't like is, is on Twitter... They're still the harassment is still going on. Like they're still screenshotting me, me, me account, and then they're throwing tweets up, and then that. people are coming on to me yeah. account then because they've retweeted tweets. So what I'm doing yeah. is I've just been retweeting their tweets now. I'm not even engaging good anymore. I'm just yeah, you just can't. And yeah. I'm putting them up and I'm showing people what they're at. Listen, at the end of the day, they're not, they don't like me. They'll never like me. And yes, yeah. I have fallen out with some people in this fandom because well, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know it happens. But uh -oh. am, I, am I happy about it? No, of course I'm not. I had some no. really good friends out there, but yeah. you know, and some have chosen. Uh, some have chosen not to come into the chat. It, you know, it's it's quite telling because you know I have a, an audience that comes and listens to me yeah. all the time. But you get to know some of the familiar faces that are in your yeah. chat, and a lot of them haven't turned up. So. You know, it, it happens. It happens, you know. And then so it was great. A few weeks back, a few of them popped into the chat the first time in months. Yeah. And it was great to see them. But listen, if they don't agree with everything I say, that's fine, yeah. David. You know, I used to get upset about that. Well, why don't they, you know, but what's the point? Everybody yeah. is entitled to an opinion. If they don't like me, they don't like me. But the oh, I'm sure there's going to be is, people too. Sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm interrupting. I apologize. No, go on. No, sorry, you know me. I get talking, so just cut across me, man, when you want to say something. I'm gonna, I'm well, there was this one person because I did the, the anti Chibnall, you know, video about my reaction to the timeless children. <laughs> I got these couple of trolls on here and I just ignored it after it didn't, I didn't like get to me. I just you blocked them, but they're like, you, you know, because of what you said, you don't deserve to ever exist in this world. You know? Yeah. I do Charlotte. Hey, you Charlotte. So I'm sure I'm, you know, once I get bigger, I'll be attacked too. You know what I mean? Yeah. But listen, the, the main thing to understand is this, right? Because uh, obviously it took me a while to kind of, you yeah. know, how it kind of all works thing about it is you will more than likely because of your views and your op opinions nowadays and it doesn't matter what topic it's on there's yeah. always going to be someone that you're going to offend right? oh yeah I'm, the I'm, thing yeah. about it is is that you know you can set up things on your channel you can put sure. things on in your channel in place to yeah. kind of stop most of the hate coming through but yeah. one or two will always get through you know yeah. And the best way to deal with them is is to just ignore them. Le you know, leave their comment up. You know, I used to get rid of people's comments, right? So no point, right? Yeah. Leave their comments up, right? If it's that bad, screenshot it, right? Sure. And show it up on your social media platform and show yeah. people what they're saying about you. That's yeah. what I've been doing now. I've just, instead of retaliating, I've been showing people what these people are doing hmm. and it's every day it's every day but yeah 
look, it's going to be like this for a long, long time. Sure. They've been given the platform to do it and get away yes. with it. BBC yeah. could knock this in the uh, knock this on the head, David Boy, basically coming out with a statement saying that they yeah. disavow this sort of behaviour and that they yeah. won't tolerate it in the fandom, but they haven't because those people that they um that they let run riot in the fandom, they actually support them. So yeah. it's sad. <clears throat> Yeah, one of his children. Yeah, a lot of fans are done, David. Oh, cool. We got it. We got our buddy here, Carrie. He's in. Oh, uh, hey, Carrie. How's things? I hope you're doing well. I yeah, same doing here. Well. Yeah, there was this one thing we were doing a housing thing. Sorry, as is saying, I think I told you about it not too long ago, but yeah, and it was just like, oh, just because I was a white male, they just assume, oh, I'm gonna stab one of the female tenants and you know, be abusive. It's wow. ridiculous. That's the world we're living in, mate. Paul Streck has a video that he um that he done a few years back. Now it's unlisted, but he shared it to us there in the chat there a couple of weeks back. Now I'd seen the video because obviously me and Paul Streck are close. We're we're yeah, awesome talking too. Talking 24 7 me and him. We're all, we're always on the bloody uh chatting to each other since he's been moving and all. Like he's kept me in touch every day every day and he yeah. hasn't been on social media every day. But yeah. uh what you call it? Oh, I don't even know what I was gonna say. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, yeah. Going back to what you were saying, yeah. So uh, he he Same was here. working. Right. He was work, His his story is he was working in the college. Yeah. And he could see this sort of politics starting to come to fox. There was an incident in the school. He talks about it in this video. Yeah. And quite shocking, David, because that was the start. See, it started off in the educational. They got themselves into positions of power. Then yeah. they start infiltrating the educational system, the college campuses, mm -hmm. you know. And then before you know it, then it was bang. We yeah. were in this situation that we're in now. And we're yeah. all like looking around like going, what the hell has just happened? It's like we're living in a parallel, a parallel, we're living on a parallel earth. It's yeah. just, it's crazy, crazy. Everybody has an agenda. Everybody has a cause, you know, yeah. it, it's, it's like, Get over these ourselves, you know. Yes. Like, yes, we have problems in society. Yeah. Yes, they need to be fixed. Of course they do. But you born pulling down statues, burning bloody buildings down. You think yeah. that's gonna solve any issues? No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. It's absolutely do you know what? The world has lost the plot. I'm sitting here in my in my apartment with the wife, and I'm just mm -hmm. like They've, they've, society's just lost the plot. It's it's finished. It's like we've gone backwards now. I was yeah, talking about this last night. Society has actually gone backwards. We're going back to an age. I seen something discussed. I don't want to really bring it up because I know you want to talk Doctor Who really, but there was something that I seen yesterday that was totally disgusting. That, so some American senator maybe maybe a senator probably a senator mayor i could be a senator or governor or some once yeah. they lower the legal age of consent right so mm. someone you can have sex with the yeah. 14 years of age yeah 14 years of age jeez that's a child it is yeah like we've lost the plot david like that's a child like, yeah, and, and then when I went seriously, I had a go at someone, right? And oh, yeah. I don't know this was, and it was like they were like, Well, who are you to it stopped now? Someone tried to say it stopped pedophilia, yeah, right? And I was like, No, it won't, it'll make it easier for them, yes, bloody oh, David. I won't yeah. get up with all you know yourself. That is just, I don't know what happened. Logic, logic went out the window a few years back. <sighs> Yeah, and it's just too bad. It's just like, you know, just before you, you, someone meets you, they just assume you're, you know, evil. You know, it's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. Listen, I mean, I, listen, it's not a tag that I wear proudly, but I'm public enemy number one with the Jody Whittaker fans. Um, and I do. Listen, I had someone complain because I was talking about Christopher Eccleston. Yeah. Because I came out and I said when he was announced, I wasn't too happy about it. But yeah. Because, I, because, now listen, just because I'm not happy about it doesn't mean that I'm going to stop talking about it. 
But mm. apparently I'm a hypocrite because I don't like something, but I'm talking about it. Well, Jeez. that's the whole point of my channel. Yeah. What I do. Yeah. What I've done for the last two years. So, yeah. you know, I am, whether you like it or not, I am a, a YouTube creator that critiques shows like Doctor Who, uh, Lower Decks now, we've done Picard, you know, yeah. um, you know, that's what I do. That's my channel, you know. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, if you, as I said to these people, though, if you have a problem with that and I say, you know, there's a block, mute, whatever button, unsubscribe, you don't have to follow me. No. But you see, I upset them so much, they have to come. And even today, I wake up and I'm told, no, look at these screenshots. And it's because I had a problem with Christopher Eccleston. Now, I took yeah. the screenshots and I threw them up on Twitter to show everybody. I cannot even have an opinion on Christopher Eccleston anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Because I said I wasn't going to talk serious toward the end or this era of my YouTube channel. The problem that I'm I'm seeing to having is I'm trying very hard not to talk about it. It's the hard. Problem is I still have people that still want to talk about it. So when they bring it up on my panel, I can't tell them that they can't speak about the yeah. torture of Doctor Who if that's yeah. what they want to talk about. So what yeah. am I supposed to do? Like these people, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I said I don't want to talk about it. But if other people bring it up and they ask me something, of course I have to respond. I'm not going to be rude and say, blah, 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 blah. yeah. And you know, you know, I'm not going to watch any of the new ones. I don't plan on it. I'm just going to watch the old stuff. I have no plans on watching the new stuff when it airs again. Yeah, I mean, we've been doing that the weekends again. They never bring this up. You know, we do classic, yeah, classic watch alongs on Saturday, and we do new who yeah. watch alongs today. Yeah. And you know, it's not all uh, doom and gloom. Uh, the right. way they talk, you think I was negative about Doctor Who all the time. Uh, or not. Oh, not negative about Doctor Who. They keep saying that I hate Doctor Who. Again, no. and David will, 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 will agree with me on this because David feels the same way. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not that we hate Doctor Who. We don't. We love Doctor Who. Right? We became fans. You know, we bought merch, whatever. Yep. It doesn't matter what you do. We be, we're fans, right? Difference yeah. is, is that we don't like this era. Yeah. What does mean we don't like Doctor Who? Because we still like 55 years worth of history. So yeah. So the logic that we hate Doctor Who is kind of out the window because we, we like the past. We just don't like the current era. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I just, Peter yeah. Capaldi's era, and Peter Capaldi's era is flawed. But I still like Peter Capaldi's era because Peter Capaldi is in it. And there are some good stories. So, yeah. you know, his era bothered me. Uh, the end of Matt Smith's era bothered me. Um, so, yeah. I mean, even David Tennant's era, the end of David Tennant's era bothered me. You oh, know, yeah. I was, yeah. I was still a fan. I was still a fan. I still loved them. You know what I mean? It, it's just this era is completely different than anything that I've seen. I just can't. Listen, Series 11 already yeah. killed it. When they came back for series 12, I even said this at the time Spyfall Part One wasn't bad, it wasn't bad, it wasn't mm. great, but it wasn't bad. After that, went downhill. That's not my fault. Go, as I said, if you have a problem, right? And right, this is how I'll put you. So if you want to stop me from moaning okay. yeah. and yeah. criticizing, then go and put pressure on Chris Chibnall to write something decent for Dr. Hill, and then I'll shut up. Yeah, the thing that doesn't fit about it is because even in the three doctors and the five doctors, it says, show me the earliest incarnation, and it's Tartnell. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Listen, they uh, when it comes to all of this, because I brought up the numbering system again, I got some controversy on Twitter yeah. because of that. And I was asking a genuine question, and this wasn't a question because – you know, I can't even put polls up when people are, are saying, oh, you're only putting up polls to... No, this was a genuine poll to ask, right? Mm -hmm. If BBC support, and this is what I asked, if BBC genuinely support Chris Chibnall, yeah. then why do they keep using the numbering system when the numbering system is actually wrong now? Mm -hmm. uh, William Hartnell isn't the first doctor anymore. Right. Right, if you were to believe Chris yeah. Chibnall, can I believe we dismissed that. Hartnell is the fourth doctor, he as far is. as we're concerned, and I'll always be that. But Chibnall did make changes to canon, but yet when it was uh, 
yeah. an anniversary of of William Hartnell's episode uh, a story they came out and said the first doctor you know they yeah. still keep referring to Tom as the fourth doctor but the yeah, and, is wrong sorry I'm interrupting you again no, the sorry. Kind of that argument though David they tried to bring up the war doctor and the meta crisis doctor yeah but again, that they were explained in the context of the show they were not the doctor yeah, and you know what they always try and bring up is the whole brain of Morbius thing as an excuse. And yes, maybe he originally planned that, but they changed their mind. Hinscliffe changed his mind about that whole idea. That's what I mean. And and because then he made a statement later on and some other people made a statement saying, yeah, that was our intention. Yeah, it might have been their intention. And we keep saying this to you. There's a difference between in intention and right. actually doing it. And they yeah. didn't do it. So if they didn't do it, it's not part of canon and it never happened. That's how right. it works, Jodie Whittaker fans. Yeah, and, and he even said it could have been Morbius. Tinscliff even said, you know, if you want. It's Morbius if you want. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, it's... it's The time is children itself. The two minutes, that two minute scene. Oh, it's awful. It's is awful. probably the most controversial in who history because yeah. it upset so many fans. And here you always get this oh, they're only all upset. It's all white men. They're all upset because look at there's people of color in the, the, the opening <laughs> down. They're all racist. It's nothing to do with that. It was, he's destroyed. Canon, yeah. he's destroyed the lore of the show. He's rebate Chibnall's basically saying that William Hartnell isn't the fourth doctor anymore. And I don't care if it was suggested before in the show or some idiot came out and said something years ago about right. you know there was doctors before Hartnell, right? right? Fair enough, but at the end of the day, they weren't on the screen first, and that's what counts, and because it's canon and uh, William, yeah, yeah. Harry, William Hartnell was the first doctor, yes. and that is what he is. Now, yeah, if Chibnall wants to make these a parallel universe uh, yeah. thing, then fine, fair enough. But he's already said that it isn't. So, yeah. I so that's why fans have a problem with those two minutes. It's not got to do with yeah. uh, the skin color of a child. But yeah. I want to get into that whole scene, and I'll bring it up again: the multiple murder. An experimentation of a child is not how I want to see how the Time Lords uh, uh, rolls up, right? Well, yeah, I so did to a friend. So did to a friend. Now, authority is this simple. They, they, the Time Lords rolls up, Gallifreyans rolls yeah. up on the exploitation and murder, multiple murder yeah. of a child. Yeah, and I showed it to a friend. I showed it to a, a friend who was just getting into Doctor Who, and she was like, oh, this is awful. What is this? And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is the new, the latest Doctor Who episode. And she's like, really? This is Doctor Who? And I'm like, yeah. She hated it. Yeah. Uh, listen, <clears throat> we get this argument as well that it's just all uh, white males in their 40s, over 40, that hate Doctor Who. Um, I mean, Carrie will tell you this charlotte is even in the chat here yeah um, there are plenty of doctor who fans that are women that yeah. are absolutely uh baffled right uh, distraught and upset just like we are right um, this whole rhetoric that it's just men is a blatant lie yeah uh, to be honest i've even had streams where i've brought uh a few of the girls on and i've just had the girls on um, I'm, I'm yeah. hoping to do it again pretty soon because yeah. this whole rhetoric about, you know, only men, it, it's a blatant lie. It's yeah. a blatant bloody lie and they've been getting away with it. And then when yeah. I criticise that and bring it up, David, like yourself, you'll start doing that as well. You're going to be criticised for it. You're going to be hounded for it because they don't like hearing the truth. That talk radio yeah. interview has upset them so much. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's 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 crazy. Um. I just can't. I just can't get me head around it. They just can't accept any sort of criticism. And now those journalists that talk for talk radio <clears throat> apparently are all a bunch of racist bigots. And again, mm. one YouTuber in particular then pointed out, "Well, look at them. They're over forty, trying to make it as if it's a trend that it's just over forty year olds that live in their basements." By the way, he has a 
he has a hard on for ball strike all the time. Ball <coughs> strike being on yeah. hasn't even been on Twitter because he's been moving. He's he's getting on with his life. You know, he's took a break. He's yeah. moving into a new beautiful home. You know, yeah. he hasn't had time. And yeah, there's still people on Twitter dragging his name into conversations just to yeah. wind them up. And that's the behaviour. The fan. Listen, there's a uh, an author that I got very friendly with last year mm-hmm. in the Doctor Who fandom. And he even recently came out and attacked me. And then when he realized it was actually me, he goes, I didn't know they were all attacking you. I says, yes, this campaign's been going on for six months. He yeah. finally came out and said he was having nothing to do with it when I showed him the latest screenshots of the stuff that was being sent. And when I retweeted him in all these fake accounts that these fans, and then he finally said he had enough. He wasn't going to defend these younger fans anymore. Yeah. And he wasn't going to do that and because he could see it for himself. Listen, people accuse me of, of bringing drama. I don't want drama, David. I've never want drama, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm telling you this. Yeah. And I've said it from day one, and Kerry will tell you this because Kerry is being there. Everybody knows me, right? I've said if anybody comes after me and my friends, right, and if it's vile, I'm going to defend them. It's as simple as that, and I'm going to defend yeah. myself. I, ha- I have that right. And, yes, sometimes it is good. It, it is better to just walk away. That's yeah. what I am doing. But if anybody crosses that line, I'm going to defend me yeah. and my friends. Like, for, for example, someone called Problem Being uh, said, ah, oh, you're crying now, you poor little Jew. Jeez. Right? Terrible. Anti-Seminism on the bloody, yeah. Right? Yeah. So I go and retweet that then, right, to show people what this fella said about me friend. Yeah. And then I get stick for off people. Uh what are you doing that for? Well, it's me friend. Someone caught me friend. Yeah. Like, what do you want me to do? Ignore Exactly. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. yeah. Disgraceful. And this is all because of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right, I'm wanting. It is just a TV show at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah this show does mean a lot to me. It does. Um, which is all right. But you are carrying on disgraceful. So if it's just a TV show, well, then why don't you all relax? And then when someone likes me has a different opinion, you just walk away because as yeah. you say, uh, as you always say, it's just a TV show. So move on then. Jog on, leave David alone, leave me alone, or anybody else alone that has a different opinion. And you just get on and enjoy yours at your doctor. Because trust me, Peter Capaldi was my favorite doctor in New Hill. And I have to say, it's heartbreaking when your favorite doctor goes. So if I were you Jodie Whittaker fans, I would cherish every episode that Whitaker is in because she will eventually go, whether it's next year or two years from yeah. now, as you keep saying, even though she won't be leaving in two years' time because uh, they'll get rid of her sooner. Trust me, she is gone. But Well, you know, know, one time I got a lot of hate too because yeah. – because I like I said, well, Peter Davison is one of my favorite doctors, and they're like, oh, you like him, and I got attacked for that. Yeah, you can't like Peter uh, Peter Davison because didn't Peter Davison come out against? He was worried about the, with Jodie Whittaker being cast. Yes, yeah, and he was hounded off Twitter, right? And we're the toxic ones. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's hypocritical, but. Again, though, they have the support on Twitter. Yes. And once they continue to have that support, mm. they feel like they can get away with this and they will continue to get away with it. Yeah. Until someone finally says enough is enough and pulls them up on it. And yeah. you know what? I've been that person. And yes, I've gotten stick on both sides sometimes. Uh, as I said, I've lost some friends. But at the end of the day, I'm not letting that side of the fandom away with anything. Um, no. They're and not going to go around bully and harass. No, and you know what? Really? I've had a few bullies actually, even on the Batman forum, just because I said Michael Keaton's my favorite, and they're like, Michael Keaton, you know, and then they're attacking me over that. My Michael Keaton is my favorite, and I do love Christian Bale. So, if anybody has yes. a problem with that, you can go and kiss me ass because yes, uh, Keaton, was, Keaton was a great Batman. Um, yes. Bale is a great Batman, but uh, I, I like sure. it. The, the original, uh, the original classic movies. I love the first two Keaton movies. Yeah. So, um, I know everybody has problems with Batman Returns, but I actually like Batman Returns. That Penguin scene 
they actually got real penguins for that. That wasn't CGI. They were actually real penguins at the time. I remember watching the whole thing because it was like this. This that scene was made a big, huge deal of because they had used so many penguins. So those penguins are actually all real penguins in that scene. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I love that movie. I love the first one. Um, yeah. Keaton is just an absolute cracker, Batman. And I'm glad apparently he's coming back to put down that cape again. Because I know. Uh, if anybody deserves to be back in that Batman role, it's him. Um, he is. And he just seems like such a likable person in real he life. He is. I love these movies. I mean, he was in The Founder about McDonald's. If you've never seen that movie, it's about McDonald's. You wouldn't think a movie about McDonald's would actually be exciting. But this movie is brilliant. And he plays... Uh, yeah. He plays Ray... Ray... Uh, what's his name? The guy that owned that, that robbed McDonald's off the two brothers, basically. Um, mm -hmm. And turned it into a franchise. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah crazy crazy great movie you should check it out um yeah the board man the parent the board man as well uh, that's a good one yeah i've seen yeah. that so yeah i mean keaton i've always liked keaton it's good to see him kind of back doing stuff so yeah, yeah. as soon as this pandemic thing, rubbish settles down they can start filming uh, i can't wait to see his new movie if if, if, if they've got him yeah so yeah so i think mm. everybody be looking forward to that um, yeah yeah. 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 Remember how outraged the fans were when Keaton was announced until they saw him on screen, then he became Batman. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and then people, yeah, just because I liked him, they're saying, oh, well, he doesn't look the part. He has, like, the wavy, curly hair. He doesn't, I'm like, he doesn't have the height. Well, who cares? His performance was awesome. <laughs> well, he's a good Batman. Yeah. He was a very good Batman. I'm sorry, but if you don't think Keaton was a good Batman, well, then there's something wrong with this. It's like what Batman. you want him to have like perfectly straight hair, straighten his hair out, and do all this stuff. I don't know. I, I remember as well, uh, his bat suit as well was the most rigid out of them all. I mean, he literally couldn't move his head, no, neck in that bat suit. So when you were doing the fighting scenes, especially. Very bloody hard because he couldn't move his whip yeah. his head around like Christian Bale could a few years later when they actually designed it so he could twist his head around. Right. Um, I did like that bat suit. I have to be honest. I did like Christian Bale's bat suit, but yeah. I like Keaton's as well. I did like that. I, I liked it. I loved his Batmobile. Uh, uh, actually, I love my favorite two Batmobiles are actually from uh, Keaton era, and and then I think in Batman. What was the third one? Batman Forever? No, it wasn't Batman Forever, was it? Was it I think it was. Forever? Yeah, it was the Kill yeah. one. Batman yeah. Forever. I yeah, did I... like the Batmobile in that one as well. The, yeah. yeah, the Batmobile, obviously, in, and didn't we have the, the flying plane as well in, in, yeah. the, in the Force movie? Yeah, so, I mean, I had a Batmobile. I had the Keaton Batmobile. I've always loved that design. It's my favourite design, actually. Yeah. Um, don't get me wrong, I love the Christian Bale one. I like the way they they yeah. they beefed that one up. I, mm -hmm. And it did suit that movie because it was kind of yeah. nowadays. But back yeah. then, that one, that's my number one. That no, I bloody love it. Oh, yeah, man. Awesome. Everything about that first movie. I was it because I was obviously a kid when the first movie came out. Mm -hmm. And I was, uh, oh man, I was excited. And I even remember then a few years later, I was on my summer holidays and there was like one cinema in this little town that we were in and they were showing Batman Returns. Yeah. And I went to see Batman Returns and like there was three people in the cinema because it was just like, it, this was down the countryside. So like it was literally released uh, that day. So I went to see it early before it, it, it packed out. But I tell you, it was it that penguin scene. I keep bringing it up, but when I saw that on the big screen, unbelievable. Yeah. Do you know what? Some of these movies, classic movies, I'd love to see them on a big screen again. Yeah, uh, that'd be some cool. Yeah, man. and even ones that I've never seen on a big screen, I would love to see them on big screen because I tell you, um, so much better. I mean, I would love yeah. to see Alien, for example. There you go. On yeah. big screen, right? I've only yeah. ever seen it on TV. Yeah. Like, obviously, I wasn't born. 
So, yeah, that movie, the director's cut, or that movie, on in the cinema, big screen, surround yeah. sound, whatever, I tell you, holy shit, that movie would be extra scary. Yeah, I'm kind of, I don't know how the new one's going to be. I don't know whether how it's the new the Batman movie's going to be. It could go, uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, actually, because you're a fan, you, uh, just to tell you, they're going to be having the DC Dome thing, the, the, the virtual mm. thing. Now, apparently, there's going to be a lot of announcements being made. We might yeah. get a trailer to the Robert Patterson uh, Batman yeah. movie, though. Now... I have to be honest, I'm not. Right, here's where I stood on it. When when he was announced at first and everybody was criticizing, I yeah. was like, listen, we've all done this before and it's turned out okay. Let's yeah. give him a chance. Sure. But then he came out a couple of weeks later then with the statement that he wasn't going to beef himself up. He'd do it when he felt like doing it and all this. That's crazy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then I was like, okay right no so ever since then i've been kind of like no but i'll see what the trailer is like first um, you know it'd be cool to have back too i mean since they got michael keaton back i mean i know you know poor val kilmer he's been through a lot but it'd be cool to see him in the cameo as well yeah i mean uh, keaton's oh i mean uh what's his face is batman there uh, gets a lot of stick uh, yeah but he, he, he wasn't a bad Batman. I mean, he did follow Michael Keaton. He was, you know, he had a hard job. And and this, this Batman movie is not bad. I mean, it, he did mm -hmm. have, uh, what's our net face in it? Uh, Tom Cruise's ex-wife. Uh, oh, yeah, Nicole, uh, the redhead Kidman. Yeah, yeah, yeah Nicole Kidman. Uh, yeah. And he was hot in it, but we did have those bat nipples. Yeah. On the suit. So that was unforgivable, wasn't it? Yeah, um, it was. Yeah. Well, yeah, he, uh, Val Kilmer was unlucky, um, to be honest. I thought he was the right replacement. I thought yeah. they got the, the, the casting spot on. Um, but Joel Schumacher then took over, didn't yeah. he, from uh, Tim Burton. And uh, once he done that, you knew the movie was going to go in a different direction. Listen, Batman Forever with Jim Carrey uh, and Two Fit is not a bad movie. But it wasn't as dark as the first two, and it didn't work for me. If they had yeah. made darker movies and say Jim Carrey had to tone down, tone down his performance a little bit, like he's done in recent years and gave us yeah. more kind of serious performances, I think it would have it would have worked even better. Um, yeah, and the fact that they made Harvey uh, Two Face act a little, he laughed too much like the Joker. They should have made him more darker. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. It's, it's, yeah. Oh, well. They, they always make mistakes, though, don't they? But, I mean, look at after, I mean, the first three movies that we can sit here and say, yeah, even though the third one is not as good as the first two, it's still not a bad trilogy because if we look at the movies we got after that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Until we got the Chris, uh, until we got the Christopher Nolan trilogy, yeah, uh, Batman had become a bit of a joke. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. So it, it's nice. It's nice to see um, that DC seem to be focusing a lot on Batman and seem to be doing these different kind of universes. The only problem is then DC fans have to ask themselves: Have they lost faith in the whole? Yeah, in the yeah. Whole, uh, universe that they're trying to create. Um, yeah, because Marvel has, you know, been the, the always making the more money than DC. You know, they've been doing better with stuff lately. You know, for the past decade or so. Yeah, it's. I don't know. I mean, we'll see how these movies. I'm not as optimistic. Yeah, as I would have been when they were first announced. But it seems to be Batman. Uh, listen, if they do it properly, because Batman is probably Batman and Superman. Mm. Uh, I would say Superman would be bigger IP. Well, it used to be. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as big now um, because mm -hmm. of what they've done. But, you know, if, if they can get Henry Caval to sign up for Superman 2, because there was rumor that they were going to get him up finally. 
they were going to ask him to do it. I think they should. Yeah. Uh, I think they should concentrate on Superman and Batman. Uh, do their their single movies. Um, get get Superman back on track, but because I think they've done a lot of damage to Superman. Uh, yeah, you know, I saw the Man of Steel, and you know, they almost made it too dark. It almost felt more. Well, like I didn't Batman. mind Man of Steel. It was when he was in Batman versus Superman. Listen, I know everybody doesn't like that that scene in 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 Man of Steel where he breaks uh, Zod's yeah. neck, but um, I kind of didn't mind. Look, I was shocked when he did it. I have to yeah, I think, a I while, think, but yeah. I could understand he was saving people, you True. know. I mean, and that's what Superman ultimately is about, isn't it? I know it was hard to see him snap someone's neck, um, mm-hmm. because he doesn't resort to that sort of thing. But this was a new take on the case. See, I always look at that like Christopher Reeves' ones will always be the pure Superman, let's be honest. Oh, yeah, you know, Henry Cavall is, is, is definitely Superman to me as well. I think mm-hmm. he's earned it. Um, Man of Steel, he won me over Man of Steel, but Batman versus Superman might have been a bad movie, but he wasn't bad in that himself as Superman. It was just he was secondary to Batman in that. They shouldn't have called it Batman versus Superman. They should have called it Batman featuring Superman. Because yeah. That's exactly yeah, what it was. yeah, and I felt bad for, you know, Ben Affleck in a way because he did have some terrible dialogue in that movie. Some really yeah. bad dialogue. Right, what time is it? Half six. Right, uh, I'll have to head now in about five minutes, uh, David, because uh, I've got the setup for me. Um, oh, okay. Actually, one more you, sec. I'm going to do one more impression for you before we go, if it's cool. Oh, yeah, do your impressions. I'm not going to head yet. I'm just getting the other stream ready. Uh, All for right, so I'm going to do the seventh Doctor, and then I'm going to do my version of the Batman. So... All right, here it goes. I know I, at the Rolling R's, I'm still working on it, and I'm still trying to make the squeaky voice for McCoy, but this is my go at it. Um, here it goes. Life? What do you know about life, Gavrock? You cause death. Lies, treachery, murder. I you can see. Scared? Well, I see you be scared. You're the one with the gun. Pull the trigger. End a life. Simple, isn't it? Makes sense, doesn't it? A life killing life. It's all race. My battle. All my battles have lost. Think about this homeless traveler and his old police box. I am the car for that gatry and your worst nightmare. So that's my McCoy one. That's very good. No, thanks. I mean, it's still a work in progress, but for what it is, it's not terrible. I tell you, as I said earlier, if I was, uh, if I was, uh, if I had the half the talent, man, I'd be, I'd be, yeah, just keep practicing, man. Uh, isn't that what they say? Yeah. Uh, because, uh, yeah, that'd be brilliant. And as I said, don't forget to check out, uh, Black Glove Studios. They're on Twitter. They do a lot of the, the fan audios, um, and they're always looking for some voice actors, True. So, um, it'll be worth checking out, you know? True. All right, and then I'll do my last one, and I'm the Batman. I'm not going to kill you. I want you to tell all your friends about me. I'm Batman. Oh, I, made me. I made you first. You killed my parents. So that's my Batman one. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think of the before we go? What do you think of the Affleck Batman with the voice changer? I don't know, I am not the biggest fan for me because I'm working on a fan film, I'm going for more like a Keaton mixed with a Bale voice. Yeah, 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 it's uh, it's yeah, I don't know, it's uh, it's one of those things people will either like or don't like the yeah. Affleck. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he should have done of the voice changer thing. I'm not a big fan of that whole idea. Yeah, I, I did, on some parts of it, I thought it was pretty cool, uh, but it did. I, I have to admit, when I first heard it, I was like, "Really? Yeah, what is that? Yeah." yeah. I was like, "What? Uh, what? What? Can he not put on a uh, uh, bad, bad?" Yeah, you know, I was like, 
can you not just put on the voice like the rest of them? I know we criticize it, but that's what they all the actors have been doing. Oh, yeah, bad, bad. Exactly. Yeah. You know? and, yeah. I mean, the only one that sounded like himself was Adam West, but that's because it was a campy version of it. But I have to be honest, though. When I heard it over a few times, it, I actually did like it. I thought, okay, yeah. yeah. Because it, it sounds like beastly, kind of animalistic, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Because I love it when he uses when he asks his back when he asks his Superman, "Do you bleed?" Doesn't he use it for that scene? Yeah, do you bleed? Yeah, I thought. Yeah, yeah, he had like that armor, that intense armor, and then the white. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, yeah. there was some. No, I like look Ben Affleck I, I, again. He's another one that they're apparently they're bringing back or they're considering bringing back. I would say yes, absolutely, hundred percent. Yeah, listen, I thought his Batman. Listen, his Batman kills people. Bring him back. Right, we we've always wanted a Batman that actually kills and murders. So bell time, right? So bring him back. You know, make sure he's obviously mentally well and he's not addicted to acting. But bring him back, throw money at him, and say, right, we want you to play Batman for another three standalone movies, and I'm on board. Ben Affleck as Batman. Uh, I remember when he was announced, everybody again was kicking up murder, and I just says, I'm on board. I was on board straight away. I kind of had a funny feeling. That he'd be great, and he was. He's a crap Bruce Wayne, but he's a brilliant Batman. Yeah, definitely a crap Bruce Bruce Wayne, but yeah. as as Batman, he's he's grand. He's yeah. grand. Right, David. I'm gonna have to go, but listen, it's been a pleasure, and thank you for having me on. Yeah, thank uh, really you. Really appreciate you inviting me on. And if thank everybody you. in the chat could uh, like, share, subscribe to his channel as well, I really appreciate it. And I'll tell Thanks you what I'll do. When I do me um me watch along now in the next few minutes, I'm starting at seven actually, so twenty minutes from now, I will uh let people know that we've done this uh stream as well and I'll get them to subscribe to you as well. Oh thanks, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing a Batman stream, so yeah, soon. So no okay. problem. Well good. There might be Batman fans in me chat that cool. might want to join you. So, you know, that's how the how it kind of works, you know. I'll let people know then and then you know, people might ask you to be guests. So I'll actually say to them, if there's anybody interested in talking Batman with you, you cool. never know. You might get Rabbi or something. Or oh, he's like cool. That. Yeah, Rabbi is yeah. another cool one too. Yeah, he'll, he'll talk. He's like me. He'll talk for for hours. So yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'll I'll say it to them. But listen, thanks for having me on. Yeah, uh, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Was a, it was a pleasure, and uh, I wish you the best of luck with the channel. Thanks. And don't be don't be shy to come into the chat and drop your channel in and let people know when you have a stream that sounds and, good um you know because they'll they, you can throw it up in the chat then people will or get one of me moderators to do a fire and uh we'll get yeah. people to sub you as well all right yeah thanks so much buddy it was great having you know no problem Roy. Well, you look after yourself pal thanks for having me on and see you everybody yeah peace see you, bye bye